Well, apple cider vinegar will help improve belly fat and bloating. Now, it's also great at improving the, your digestion. It will help improve bowel movements. Oh. Yes. It seems like every time I'm here, I'm always talking about pooping, but... Yes, it comes it, up. It just comes up every time. <laughs> But um, it definitely will improve bowel movements. But I, what I really love about it is it reduces the amount of time that fats are in the digestive tract. So it will help fats metabolize faster and get out of the body. We don't want them in the body. We want the fats out of the body. Yeah. You know, I've been really curious about why apple cider vinegar works. I did some reading on it. Mm -hmm. I think part of it's because it helps the bacteria in our gut, the good guy yes, bacteria, good guy. survive and thrive. Yes. And it's maybe hold back to the bad guy. And that's good because all that manifests itself with the benefits you're speaking right. to. So who's it right for? Give me an idea. Give the audience okay. an idea. So it's really great for people who have signs of toxic overload. That would be bloating, constipation, low energy, okay. pain, headaches, weight gain. Yep. Those are the typical signs of toxic overload. Overload. If they experience those, they can benefit from this plan. And specifically, it can help jumpstart you. Yes. Right? It's a great jumpstart to any weight loss plan. I like it because it can help you recover from a cheat day as well. And then it's so simple and easy to use, you can add it to any diet regimen or plan. It, and you know what? This cheat day issue is a big deal now because yeah. folks are on their new plans. I know you're all going to fail. Once in a while, we all do, that's yep, us. Normal. But what's good for us is the fact that we can bounce back quickly from yes, it. That's so, the one issue that I've had with the apple cider vinegar okay. is sometimes it can be a little difficult to swallow. Ooh so, wee. take a look. Very um, sour. It's, ah. it's actually burning. Sour, tangy. Are you ready? Toast us, see if the kids would taste this. Oh, it's tangy, all right. <laughs> ah. And the lemon really gives it a nice Whoa. little zing. I thought it had enough zing to begin with. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. So we've made sure this plan is not about just taking shots of apple cider vinegar. JJ's created recipes that are easier to drink and to eat than you could ever imagine. And listen, we all recognize the body naturally detoxifies itself. It wants to be healthy. This detox with the apple cider vinegar is designed to support that process. So give us an overview of the plan. How often do you do it? How long do okay. you do it for? Well, basically, you're going to be having two to three teaspoons of apple cider vinegar throughout the day in various meals and snacks and drinks. I mean, you can work your way up to more. I do about three tablespoons per day now. Three tablespoons? Three tablespoons. And the way we have it designed is it's you don't take shots. It's in various meals and snacks. Now, we're going to give you, everyone, your detox plan. But yes. if you don't want to do that, guy, it's okay. Just take one teaspoon mm -hmm. before each and every meal. Yes. Right? Three meals a day, three teaspoons, and you're, you're set to go. Yes. It actually may help before a meal because it helps you with the digestive yes. process. Okay. Take it one through a typical okay. detox day. Uh, and again, you, you, wanna, you do this for a month and a Yeah, you want to do this for an entire month, and you want to do it for a few times a week. If you can do it daily, it's even better. It will accelerate the results. But you can do it basically uh, for a few times a week week and you want to do it for a month. Now, we start off the day with the berry apple cider vinegar drink. Ooh. I'm so excited. See, you mentioned about the taste. You already know if you take apple cider vinegar in water, ooh, child, yes. it is not good. And so I've created this drink which actually is great to take in the morning, particularly if you're interested in weight loss, because it will really wake up the digestive system. So I suggest people take it about 20 minutes before a meal. And what it has in it is mixed berries, lemon juice, a little stevia. Here is the apple cider vinegar, which is the main ingredient, mm -hmm. and about 20, 24 ounces of water. And this is much better to taste. The berries will curb sweetness. And we know the berries have a lot of antioxidants, so that slows the aging process. And it beats back the cravings. Why do you think that's so? Well, I think the important thing about cravings is it's known to act as an appetite suppressant. And apple cider vinegar is. Yes, an appetite suppressant. And so because it has, it has the ability to really reduce cravings, and one of the things, see, we want to get our best body, so what you want to do is to be able to reduce cravings before they start. Right. And this drink will reduce cravings in the morning and really set your day off on the right track. All right, now, next up, apple okay. walnut spinach salad. This thing is pretty hot. Yes. And your argument here is that apple cider vinegar, if you're going to make it part of your day, you yes. ought to make it part of the dressing. What makes it so yeah, special for the see, body? See, the beauty of dressing is, what I like about salad dressings is most of them contain vinegar anyway. Mm -hmm. But this particular salad has a combination of fiber, protein, and 
fats. So what that does is gonna slow the absorption of sugar. So it's gonna reduce cravings throughout the day. So this is a healthy meal, but it's one that will reduce cravings. You won't get blood sugar spikes. Your energy will be stable. So you'll be feeling all good all day, which is what we want. <laughs> and looking good. Yes. Right, so how do you make it action? Give me the dressing quick, quick. Okay, so you basically add this. The, the interesting thing is anytime you add apple cider vinegar with some fruit or oil, it'll add a nice flavor to salad. So we have a little salt and pepper, apple cider vinegar, some olive oil, and um, you just mix it all up and stir it up, and then you put it on the salad. And the salad, again, you don't mind having some fruit. That, that, that's apple, right? Yes, that's apple, and it has nuts in it. And um, you just chop the apples up into little pieces, and then you squeeze a little bit of lemon on it, and that's how it turns out. And you can make this and whisk it up in about um, less than a minute, and you have a salad dressing. And the beauty of this, I gotta say, yes. a, a lot of women do the right thing with their salads, they mm -hmm. don't do the right thing with their salad dressing. Oh, right, that's and, right. And right. So you sabotage everything you're doing. This mm -hmm. is actually a reasonably low calorie approach and works for you. And Absolutely. It tastes good. Right. Now compare, <laughs> compare this face <laughs> to what I had with the apple cider vinegar yes. shot. It was one worth it. Okay, next up. Apple cider vinegar needs to be added to clean protein. You, you actually make a big deal about this. Yes. We don't put enough emphasis on protein, and you don't want to get off the protein in order to do an apple no, cider detox. Right. When you lose fat, you don't want to lose muscle, too. So I always tell people protein is king, particularly when you're detoxing. You do not want to forget the protein. And so one of the things we made sure is when we use protein, we added apple cider vinegar to some spices to give it flavor. Anytime you add apple cider vinegar to any spices, it's going to be a great way to really spice up fish, salmon, chicken, or anything. But never forget your protein when you're doing a detox. So you used it, you made us, obviously you can add it on top of the protein, but you made a little dip here with the apple yeah, cider Yeah, I made vinegar. a little dip. And um, it's basically apple cider vinegar and some cayenne, and we made a little sauce. We call it buffalo sauce. It would be like, you know, have you heard of buffalo wings? <laughs> buffalo have I heard sauce. of buffalo wings? <laughs> Buffalo sauce, so this is a great way to give it a lot of flavor. Has a little kick to it, you know, and it has a little tang, but it's a great way and it's super, super healthy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.